Hello everybody, Bobby Gaines again with another one of my little rants, always live and unscripted. Right now I'm going to rant about sports a little bit, I usually talk about a lot of things, but um, in the sporting world right now, well what else, the NFL preseason. Is it just me or does it seem like this year's NFL preseason has been especially hyped? And not just the preseason, the practices leading up to preseason, the first snaps for the backup quarterbacks, people punting, um, interviews with coaches, the whole nine yards, some pun intended. I mean, obviously, the NFL, it's like probably America's number one sport. No, it is America's number one sport. I understand that. It's not my number one sport, and that's fine. But even for an NFL fan, doesn't it get tiring to see 16 stories on the NFL preseason before they even play an exhibition game? Then they play them, and they air them on prime time, most notably on Thursday night, with the caption, Monday Night Football. Are we really that starved to see some people throw a football? I mean, again, I like the NFL. I'll watch the games during the season. I'm a New York Giants fan. I, you know, root against the Patriots. I have my own things, just like any other sport. And I tune in. But, well, for one thing, football's only played once a week. And, you know, it's a big deal. However, during the week, we can still hear about it pretty much 24-7. Again, I understand that. It probably, football's probably always going to have three quarters of the TV viewership when it comes to sports. But if you turn on Sports Center lately, and I don't know how many of you do, probably quite a few, but there's just a ton of preseason. And I'm not just talking about preseason like locally, like I live in the Northeast, so, you know, Patriots, Giants, Jets. No, 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 no. We go through every single team. The Jacksonville Jaguars today had a pretty good practice. Uh, Blaine Gabbert may or may not be the quarterback. Okay, that's great. What's the next story? Cleveland Browns are looking for... All oh, right, that's cool. What's the next story? The Denver Broncos are expected to be in the Super Bowl. Of course, we won't know that for six more months, but we're still going to talk about it. Ugh, and it, it just goes on and on. You know, I'm not ignorant. It's not that I don't care about all the teams, but... You know how ESPN does their little side-scrolling thing. They have, like, the stories that are coming up next. You know, NFL, big game, and baseball, big game, and whatever. A ton of them are just interviews with coaches and things for the NFL, aired all day long. I mean, they don't practice all day long, but ESPN thinks we need to make sure we see it. And I've been following sports for a number of years, I just don't remember the preseason being this hyped. I mean, the exhibition games, they got a little coverage. But weeks before them and the week of them, I don't remember all this. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. And they showed some highlights of Tony Romo for the Cowboys after or during a preseason game kind of going off on his offensive line, kind of going like, come on, guys, why didn't we have that play down? And kind of going around being a little coach on the sidelines. And I believe they have, they have some people analyze it from ESPN. They have some NFL analysts look at the footage of Tony Romo going around, inspiring his team during that preseason game that meant nothing, and saying how great a leader Tony Romo is going to be now because he ran around on the sidelines, mad that his team wasn't committed more to the preseason game. I mean, come on. Again, maybe it's just me. Maybe we all want to see it all the time. I personally am a baseball fan. I realize that baseball will never get as much coverage as the NFL, but at least it gets more coverage than hockey, which only gets covered for the last couple months of the season. That said, does anybody need to see all 32 teams at training camp all day? Just something to think about. I'm Bobby Gaines. I'll see you later. Enjoy the football.